So this is a real bummer, the seacock. Uh, I just can't get it open. It's so far in there. Can't pound it loose. I tried heat and then some uh, that penetrating oil, but uh, I just twisted the this part. So I think I gotta remove it. I might, I think I'm just gonna glass it in, and we'll, we'll we'll find another way. Maybe I'll tee off the salt water from the engine for that. Um, uh, I think I got time. The boat guy's not coming till next week so just unfortunate i already painted the hull but i can just do a little patch it won't be a big deal so i think i can get that removed today hopefully those are never fun to remove though probably end up destroying it it's pretty far in there so here it is on the outside and uh if we get to it oh it's moving got this thing out cool all right so we got this ground out and i kind of had to avoid this through hole next to it and then uh ken's getting some epoxy on the there and now i'm just going to cut some strips <laughs> I've, yeah i've kicked around the idea of some of the stuff on like when i do car repairs and i've yeah. like found better ways than than some of the youtube channels have uh -huh. and I'm like, does that look yeah that's good Pretty good. I think we got how many was that? Maybe thirty. I lost count. Yeah, I never remember to count. But it looks pretty, pretty fair actually. It might be one of the better ones. Um, I'm gonna put some peel ply on here. Beautiful. I got that done like like an hour. So we got the the jugs and these new hatches. They look pretty good. Great. The anchor light is all wired up. I'm just gonna zip tie these and then I'm gonna move over to the steaming light. This was the old steaming light. And I just went against the front of the mast, but it protruded quite a bit. And it's not, it didn't really seem that necessary to go out that far. And what happened is halyards would swing around to one side of it. And so the halyard on the port side of the mast would get hooked around the starboard side of the light. And then uh, it would, you know, bind up. So. I want to have a really kind of streamlined light there. So I found these little thin little LEDs are super thin. So I don't think a rope could catch on that, could catch on that. And they're supposed to be waterproof. Uh, they came in like a 10 pack. So I'll just replace them as they, as they break. Um, but I'll, I'll probably mount that a little bit above the hole so that uh, I have some wire as I need to replace them. Hero hooked up, just gotta screw it in there. That seems a bit more streamlined. I don't think that'll catch halyards as often. And then I've got this extra wire here. Maybe I'll be a spreader light or something down the road. The Amazon package of the day is a bunch of uh, poly, polypropylene bottles. These are gonna be for, for extra little touch up bits of paint and varnish and uh, like chemicals and stuff. We are pretty much hardened up here, so I'm gonna put a little fairing compound. I'm gonna kind of rough this up first, actually. We 
we gouged up this uh, countertop when we were moving this peak little uh, fiddle. So I'm going to use the rest of this fairing compound, see if I can smooth that out. Finishing touch on the door. We got, we got the bracket up, and now we're going to... I took this part to start with, but I realized I could just slide it on with it all together, so... Makes it a lot easier. And, and now when I'm in the fog out here, <laughs> everyone will know where I am. <laughs> looks good. We've cut out this area that used to be, uh, I don't know, kind of two little cabinets. And then the, uh, this will be the electronics uh, charging station. Um, like that. I'll have this bolted down. And, um, yeah, that'll be good. So then every a wire will come here to charge it, and that'll keep everything nice and dry. And we also took off these side hinges because they're just kind of too annoying. So but I think those front hinges will be good. And I'll probably take this handle off too because there's really no point for that. But it's looking, coming along. Plenty of room to open it. Maybe even enough to put a thin, thin little shelf up here. I'm really excited to have this uh, charging station with kind of watertight seal. Uh, because back when I was on like Swedish Fish, I would go through an iPhone charger every month. Um, just because it's kind of salty air, and I think that's going to work really good. Uh, I got to give a big shout out to Larry again. He doesn't really care to be on camera as much. Uh, he's helped out with a, a bunch of these projects the last few days, and um, all my volunteers, really. Uh, the roofing didn't come yesterday. I was uh, kind of disappointed about that, but on the flip side, I got so many boat projects done. The boat is basically ready to get in the water. Uh, Monday, once I once I get the uh, a little bottom paint on that little patch, and... Um, to, to, yeah, tomorrow the roofing should come. I'll get that finished up, so I'll have the, the, the roof will stop leaking, and uh, I'll feel good about that when I'm gone. Um, I'll see you guys next time.